αμαρτία και η τρελά μου είσαι εσύ. Here we are at Nikos Tavernia and here's George, the owner. So George, how long yeah. have you been in this location? Uh, we've been open since 2005. Uh, my family and I opened the restaurant. Um, they recently retired. I, I, oh. I took over, and uh, and I'm happy to support them. That's awesome. <laughs> are you se are you uh, second gen second generation? Yeah, generation? well, I'm first generation American. Uh, my parents were born in Greece. They came here in the 60s. Oh wow. Um, my dad had a bar restaurant in Terrytown. Okay. Okay. So I grew up in this business. Okay. And we're just yeah, we're lifers. You know, it's in our blood. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. That's great. That's yeah. <laughs> what part you can't of Greece am I in? Um, we we're, our family's like close to Sparta. I can see it. I can see you with like the shield. The shield it's, all, it. it's all uh, <laughs> it's all olive oil and, and olives and and uh, pig roast. Oh. Know? Yeah. I might have to take notes on that. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Walking into this place, you know, I was, I was amazed by the Greek culture. I'm pretty sure, like a lot of these pictures that are around here are uh, from Greek, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, we have uh, Athens on the wall. We have uh, Santorini. Um, just some of the spots that we love the, the view of. I see that the water is really, really, really clear. Yeah. Is, is that is that is that like photoshopped? Or is that how no, it goes? No, definitely not. It's, <laughs> it spoils you because you're not. You're not used to that from around here. There's just no, totally not, not the yeah, same kind of. Yeah, no. Like I, I definitely, kind of I think I see like a little shrimp in the bottom of the ocean <laughs> over there in one of those pictures. Yep. But uh, you know, I'm really not cultured that much in, uh, you know, in the in the in Greek culture. Yep. Other than what they teach you in the textbooks, but I know that's definitely not what it is nowadays. Right. So, uh, what would you recommend? You know, like if anybody goes to a Greek restaurant or maybe in anything in culture specific? Well, if they went to Greece, I would recommend to go in like August, so you get the, the full festival feel of what I try to bring with the Sublaki truck to New York. Oh, um, okay. There's just barbecues on the streets, and it's, it's a beautiful time. On August? So yeah, in August, August, is August is our big uh, festival month over there. Yeah. Oh, wow, yep. that's awesome. So as you know, we are Westchester Eats. We're gonna ask you what are your three most popular dishes. Okay. Um, I gotta say, I mean, just from the sales alone, but from what we cook, uh, the most, uh, the octopus, the grilled octopus for sure. Okay. Um, our French fries are killer, um, and our souvlaki. It's it's the traditional souvlaki, chicken or pork, uh, marinated salt, pepper, olive oil, lemon juice, and then we cook it on the grill. It's just simple meats, prepared uh, with love and, and just cooked on the grill. That yeah, amazing. yeah, and it sells like crazy. <laughs> well, and our and our Greek salad, obviously. I mean, we're we're in a healthy neighborhood, so. Oh, yeah. um, it's just a, not a traditional Greek salad, but it's like an American style Greek salad. It's uh, romaine lettuce, tomatoes, onions, feta cheese in our balsamic vinaigrette. All right. Yeah. We, have, we have grilled lamb chops. It's pretty pretty Ooh. similar. The only thing, we just leave it on the bone. We don't put it on the stick. Got it. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. All right, that sounds much better. Yeah. That sounds yeah. amazing. Another thing I, point, uh, I saw in the menu is that you could actually have a party to have Pig, of course you can. Yeah, it was like yeah. a, whole, a whole pig or well, a whole lamb. that's the big lamb. thing about the festivals too is that they have the full, the whole lamb uh, roast and the pig roast over there. So we try to bring that here and 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 um, capture that 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 lifestyle. Got it. In New York. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Now, serious question. So, how many people does it take to take down that whole pig or a whole lamb? Oh, like oh, like boy. to eat it or yeah. to cook it? Um, no, 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 no. Well, well, either or. Well, I, I cook it every year. <laughs> Um, uh, during Easter time, we cook like five or six outside. Okay. Um, one lamb, I would say probably about 15 to 20 people. Wow. Well, that's Greek people. I don't know about like, <laughs> I mean, depending on the culture, you know? Yeah, okay. of course. <laughs> you got to come with some big guys like, like us, yeah, <laughs> you can take it down. Yeah. You know? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Uh, I was like, you know, my family probably take like five people to take <laughs> yeah, it down. Yeah, yeah, it. <laughs> it depends. But, it all depends on the people. Um, and the size of the animal too, but uh, normally about 15 to 20 people. So if All we right. come here during the springtime, we'll see you guys. Yeah, you know, absolutely. Outside. I hope you guys come back. Oh, for, for sure. Definitely come All back. Right. Springtime, <laughs> right? Sounds good. All right, well, George, thank you very much, and I can't wait to try all our food. Awesome. I can't All right. wait to cook. Thank, right. thank, thank you so much. much. All, right. all right. Take care, bud. So we're gonna do what we talked to the dishes we talked about, the most popular dishes. Uh, we have the octopus, the souvlaki, this is the pork. Um, this is the most popular souvlaki in Greece. Some people say lamb, but it's really not true. Uh, 
pork is pork is the the village meat you know that's where we come from and the octopus um, basically we we boil it to, to get it tender the trick I found because we keep all the fat on the octopus I throw it in the fryer for a few minutes and then and then put it on the grill to get that nice char a good portion of it on the sandwich some red onions salt, oregano, olive oil. That also helps with the flavor. You know, you can smell it. You just smell it on your hands. Smells and flavors from, from that, just nostalgia, you know? We'll do a little hummus on the bottom of the plate, right? A little chickpea, cucumber, parsley, red onions. So we put a little salad on the bottom. And I'm all about the acid, so it needs lemon juice, it needs vinegar, right? Like I said, the acid is important, cuts through the fat. But it's simple, anybody can make it, it's just time and practice. It's just not who I am. I, I mean, I don't, I, don't need, I don't need a Michelin star to, to, to cook what I love to cook, you know? I like to, to have people cook from their soul and then, and then really give me what they are in front of me, you know? So that was Nico's Tavernia, or... No, it's Nico's Tavernia. <laughs> See, all this time I still can't pronounce it. So we just want to say thank you, Richard, also for uh, lending us these Greek porcelain dolls of women in the Greek traditional clothing. It looks magnificent, and also helps us out a lot to see, you know, background culture of Greece in general. Uh, we don't have any of men, but... Uh, I'm not even gonna guess how they might look like. <laughs> but hey, compliments this Mexta right over here, you know? Like, look at that. Same. That bottle looks so nice. Yeah, it does. Also with George, he was on Chop. And oh yeah, that's right. So, you know, he, he actually did pretty well in the show and um, just wanted to give him a shout out for that because that's a nice thing. Honestly, George, itself. I still don't know why you got chopped. Right? <laughs> we still love you. Remember that. So yeah, yeah, so definitely a very nice place to take a date, you know, have a have some octopus and a glass of wine. Sounds like a perfect date. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's just like you're you're there with the lights, you're outside, it's even you know, when it's a little cold, it's a nice and you have the nice heat lamps and um you know I, I, got, I just gotta have a random question, do you yeah. Diego, do you know if, if uh, octopus is an aphrodisiac? This word is pronounced as aphrodisiac. Aphrodisiac. That which gives people a strong desire to have sex. Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, um, just want to close it out. As you know, we are Westchester Eats, and you know we got to thank you guys for uh, watching another one of our episodes. And thank you, Richard, and thank you, George, for giving us uh, an opportunity to check out Nico's Tavernia. I'm still gonna work on it. Tavernia. Tavernia. <laughs> Always remember, don't forget to hit our little logo in the bottom so you can hit the subscribe, like, hit the little bell for the notifications of anything new, any new locations that we're doing. We want to try something a little different for this episode. We're going to have a nice glass of metaxa for you. Yeah, metaxa is uh, it's a specialty Greek liqueur. So, um, as always, this is Westchester Eats, and this is from us to you. And for all the Greek viewers out there, stinigiasas. What he said. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers.